This is a story about a pair of queen sisters who have magical powers. Queen Freya, known as Snow White, she has the power to control ice. And her sister Ravenna, has more power than Freya but always get help from a piece of evil magic mirror, she's known as the Evil Queen. Spoilers ahead! Please sit back and enjoy the story. One night, Ravenna playing chess with a king from another kingdom, the king thought that the chess was just for fun, but it was a trap for him, because he had followed Ravenna's evil plan that could have taken his life. Relying on a magic trick from the mirror, Ravenna kills the king without touching him, blood flows over the chessboard and the king dies instantly. Because she controls the mirror, Ravenna is invincible, she conquers various kingdoms with her sister Freya at her side. But Freya looks weaker, she has fallen in love with a young man named Duke, and already has a baby girl from their relationship. Of course that made her sister angry, Ravenna doesn't want any love in their personalities although usually both of them look close and fine. Until one night, when Freya was walking in the garden, Duke killed the baby. Freya couldn't hold back her anger, she then released the power of ice and froze Duke to death. Feeling hurt and hopeless, Freya left her older sister's kingdom and headed north to build her own empire. Now she's not believed in love anymore. She was cruel and kidnapped children to be trained. There, Freya turned the green forest into an icy mountain. Now she reigns as the dreaded Snow White. In her new kingdom, Freya makes rules for the children she has kidnapped. She forbade the children to fall in love with each other. And anyone who breaks the rules will be punished. Every day, the kids were trained to become formidable warriors, Freya was watching them through the eyes of the ice owl she made. Among other kids, there is a couple of teenagers who have great talent to become the best warriors, that is Eric, the huntsman, and a girl named Sarah. Eric and Sarah seem to like each other, and this starts to make Freya suspicious. More than a dozen years later, Eric and Sarah have grown up, the two of them still have a close relationship. The queen sent them to fight against the mighty kings from the north. And because of the warriors she trained, Freya won many battles. Eric and Sarah's love story continues, they are married and promise to love each other for life and death. But that night, their love affair was discovered by the queen, Sarah begged to leave, but the queen stretched an ice wall to separate them. Eric tried to break the ice wall, but he couldn't, he then saw Sarah being stabbed in the back by Freya's men. When Eric looked at her, he was also hit from behind. Then he was thrown into the river. Over the years, Freya's northern kingdom had continued to expand. In fact, her warriors had managed to get the magic mirror delivered to the queen, but on the way the mirror fell to the ground, the cover cloth was opened. At the same moment, Eric is still alive. He has become a huntsman but he seems to be grieving over the death of his wife, Sarah. A queen's head soldier met him, he told Eric that the magic mirror had been stolen. He then asked for Eric's help to immediately find the mirror before queen. At the same time, Eric throws down an ice owl from the tree. It's Snow White Eyes, who was watching them and found out that Eric was still alive. Queen also knew Eric was willing to find the mirror but Freya really wanted it. Now Eric was escorted by two dwarves, they went to find traces of the magic mirror, and when they got to the place where the mirror fell, they realized that the mystical thing in the mirror had made the delivery men kill each other and the mirror is no longer there. Eric and the dwarves must find it before Freya. Later that night, when they were at the bar resting and looking for some information, Queen's men came up to Eric and asked a few things, then Eric gets beaten up. Eric was too tired to fight and lost that night, when that man was about to behead Eric, a figure in hooded black coat came and helped him. Eric was surprised, he seemed to see a ghost, it turned out to be Sarah, his wife who was still alive. Sarah then took Eric to a hut, both of them argued because they had a misunderstanding, Eric thought Sarah had died, while Sarah thought Eric had run away and left her. In that short conversation they finally realized that what they had seen from the bias of Freya's ice wall was just an illusion. Freya intentionally separated them because she hates love. Eric and Sarah have seen the trick illusion. Actually, Sarah was only jailed for seven years by Queen. After all was answered, 
They both got back together and understood each other, continuing their love like before. At the same moment, Snow White was still mourning the death of her baby, she then monitored with the help of her owl's eyes and knew his location. Eric, Sarah and the two dwarves explore the forest on foot, but they are caught in a trap by the female dwarves. But the incident didn't last long, because the two female dwarves chose to join Eric in going to a forest inhabited by goblins, powerful creatures who guard gold, silver and diamonds. The female dwarf just wants to aim for the treasure there, while Eric will get the mirror. Using several canoes, Eric and the dwarves explored a mystical river in the middle of the forest, and when they arrived, they found various objects made of gold and diamonds, but there were many human bones, indicating that the forest was very dangerous. After crossing a wooden bridge, Eric saw the mirror, but a goblin ambushed and attacked them. The dwarves immediately covered the mirror with a cloth and fled silently, while Eric and Sarah continued to fight the evil goblins that attacked them. After Sarah and the dwarves crossed the bridge, Eric cut it off so the goblins couldn't follow them. Sarah used fire arrows and managed to kill all the goblins. They then continued their journey and rested in the magical forest. In the morning, the mirror cover was accidentally blown off by the wind. The mirror called out to Eric and whispered words that they should kill each other, but Sarah knew that and immediately made Eric aware. Not long after that, the atmosphere of the forest suddenly turned cold, the trees froze, the water turned to ice. From a distance, a group of warriors was approaching them. The group was led by Freya, the Snow White who rode a bear. They came to take the mirror. Even when the dwarves wanted to get in her way, the queen turned them into frozen statues. Under queen's control, Sarah was willing to shoot an arrow right into Eric's chest. After that, the queen went with Sarah and brought the mirror. Soon after that, the dwarf pulls the arrow from Eric's chest, it turns out the arrow doesn't kill him, Sarah deliberately makes it miss to keep Eric alive, because she has a big plan against the queen. Eric realized that, at the same time, they suddenly got a hint from a forest elf. Freya arrived at her palace, she approached the mirror and asked a question, who is the most beautiful? Suddenly, the mirror moved, it turned into a living Ravenna. Freya was scared to see the figure of her sister who was still alive. It turned out that Ravenna had been trapped inside the mirror the whole time, and Freya had freed her by accident. In the morning, two dwarves tried to sneak into Freya's palace, while Eric climbed a high rocky cliff and jumped onto the roof. Eric sneaked through the attic while Freya was making rules for her soldiers. Without a long wait, Eric immediately shot his arrow at Freya, but was thwarted by her sister Ravenna. Sarah also attempted to kill Freya back then, but failed. Sarah and Eric are then arrested to be executed. At that time, Eric was trying to convince Queen's warrior to take his side and fight against the Queen's tyranny. They also listened, the guards didn't punish Eric, instead cut the chain so that the couple would be free. Seeing that, Ravenna got angry. She released her strange power to kill them all but Freya restrained it by creating a high wall of ice. Freya was angry to see her soldiers being treated like that by Ravenna. The soldiers were trying to climb the ice cliff while the two queens was arguing. Freya then used her telepathy to see what was going through her sister's mind. Freya then realized that it was not Duke who killed her baby daughter, but her own sister. It was because of Ravenna's jealousy. She didn't want Freya's baby girl to become a prettier woman to replace her beauty one day. Now everything is clear, Freya knows Ravenna's evil deeds. Freya couldn't forgive her sister, the two of them then fought each other with their magic, and the ice wall fell. At the end of the fight, Ravenna stabbed Freya. And while dying, Freya froze the mirror with her powers, Eric got up and smashed the mirror with his axe. Ravenna fell. She was destroyed along with the breaking of the magic mirror. Sarah immediately hugged Eric in front of Freya, and Freya realized that true love really existed. After that, Freya, the Snow White died peacefully. All of her warriors are free, as well as the true love that exists between them. Now that the Northern Kingdoms have been liberated, the people can live peacefully and are welcome to love each other again. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.